Josh, to be with your beautiful sister. Uh, good luck for your season. Hey, you're going to Sacramento soon for a game, so all the best of luck. We're going to come up and watch you uh, take care of business. What's up, my man? We're at the fuck club. Me and my girl, gotta head back to mine. Five years ago, I was pursuing a master's in biomedical sciences, but it's something that I genuinely didn't want to do. So I dropped out. And I remember sitting at the floor of my apartment at the time, feeling lost, feeling like I had no direction at all whatsoever, feeling like I had no purpose. And little did I know that would lead me to moving back in with my parents, relaunching this YouTube channel. A year later, I would start Microphone. And now it's my full-time job. And it's been like that for the past five years. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of you, whether you are someone that is consuming the content, whether you're someone that's hate watching the content, whether you're someone that is working on this content, literally from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know that I have tremendous gratitude for you, for your support, for your hard work, for your sacrifices, for your feedback, and for your passion for my content. And on this day of gratitude and thanks, which happens to fall on the day of my birthday, I wanted you all to know that I'm thankful and grateful for you all. Now that we get all that out of the way, cue the intro. For the last month and a half, I have plugged in the same freaking ad in each and every video to remind you guys that every single time Prize Picks does this, we end up making money. The last time it was with a Steph Curry free square. This time it's for Thanksgiving. So we have a few days to lock this in. All Christian McCaffrey needs is one yard, which he's gonna get a yard in order for his square to convert, which means we only need to get one pick right in order to three X our money or two picks right to potentially five X our money. I'm gonna post my picks onto my Instagram at the flight mic and make sure you use my promo code microphone to double your deposit up to $100 when you join prize picks. It's worth a shot because historically we have a great win percentage on this. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? This morning, when I woke up, the very first thing I did was check my Twitter account. And upon seeing this information, I did what any man in my situation would do. We out, what the f did I just wake up to? I wanted to give a special shout out to the individual that replied my exact line of thinking. Chop chop video boy, no Thanksgiving for you. <laughs> Which honestly made me laugh. With the sixth pick in the 2021 NBA draft, the OKC Thunder selected Josh Giddy, a player that was dubbed the, the next, next coming. Of Luka Luka Doncic. Doncic. Either way, the OKC Thunder were in the midst of a very long rebuild. They were building around Shea Gilgis Alexander. They were placing a huge emphasis on their homegrown talent, and they had a treasure chest of high draft picks as a result of the Paul George trade and the Russell Westbrook trade and the Chris Paul trade and subsequent trades that they've been making ever since to hoard as much draft capital as humanly possible. And there is no question in anyone's mind that Josh Giddy was a huge part of the OKC Thunder's future. Future. And in his first year, man, he was pedestrian to say the least. The OKC Thunder weren't necessarily the greatest team. He averaged 12 points per game, shot 42% from the field, shot 26% from three, but he actually improved significantly last year, averaging 17 points per game, shooting 33% from three and 48% from the field. Through it all, there was no question in anyone's mind that the OKC Thunder are really committed to this core of Shea Gilgis Alexander, Josh Giddy, and most recently, Chet Holmgren, who's been having incredible games and is currently the leader in Rookie of the Year voting. As a matter of fact, the OKC Thunder are technically the second best team in the West with an 11-4 record behind the Minnesota Timberwolves and are currently on a six-game win streak. Yeah, that rebuild that we were all worried about might be over soon. So you might be wondering, okay, Mike, video over. What's the problem? Well, there are some allegations out there in regards to Josh Giddy, And man, these are some very, very disturbing allegations. And I want to say like, just based upon the content that we are receiving and based upon just looking at things from face value, it doesn't look good. I don't necessarily know any other way to spin this, but at the same time, I will say these are allegations. Allegations that are so troubling that it looks like Chet Holmgren is even like deleting tweets that have Josh Giddy in them. So whenever a franchise cornerstone is doing that with a player that clearly is a huge part of OKC's future, it cannot be good. To give you an idea, 
idea of what Josh Giddy is being accused of. The best way I could explain it is via this headline. Dating girls the same age as his three point percentage, Twitter reacts on Josh Giddy, which is a wild title if you think about it. But if that still doesn't really paint the picture, then maybe this Photoshop kind of spells out what we're trying to allude to. So there's this one female TikToker who, by the way, attends high school that posted a bunch of content with Josh Giddy. Now, I don't want to give this TikToker a tremendous amount of clout. So if you really want to see who it is, I'll post her name onto my Instagram story. But this one TikToker started releasing content with Josh Giddy. Originally, this was posted from some Twitter account I've never heard of. Josh Giddy from the OKC Thunder with a, you could read that yourself. First video, he's talking to her brother. This is disgusting and this man needs to be punished. We can't let this go under the surface any longer. This needs to be seen. She is a junior in high school. Now, the crazy part is, is this dude actually deactivated his Twitter or his Twitter got banned. I don't know which one it is, which kind of makes me scared to post this video as well, guys. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully at worst, it's demonetization. But eventually someone actually reposted the content onto a different account. And we'll play the videos for you. What's up, man? It's Josh. Here with your beautiful sister. Uh, good luck for your season. We need to go to Sacramento soon for a game. So all the best of luck. We're going to come up and watch you. I'll uh, take care of business. So I really tried my best to look at it from Josh Giddy's perspective. And all I could really come up with is some random girl may pull up to him. And by the way, this is my own guess. I don't know if this is what actually happened. Some random girl goes up to him, says, hey, Josh Giddy, my brother is a huge fan of yours. Can you send him a nice message? And his message was... What's up, man? It's Josh. Here with your beautiful sister. Uh, good luck for your season. We need to go to Sacramento soon for a game. So all the best of luck. We're going to come up and watch you. I'll uh, take care of business. Is it weird to say, hey, I'm here with your beautiful sister? Yeah, I would say so. There's also not necessarily any proof that it's the same girl in this video. You could only kind of like see very little bits of her face. It's consistent with the other images, but you can't for sure confirm it's her. And that's just me trying to formulate an argument. It could be a situation where it's someone completely different. But again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just trying to like play the devil's advocate for this situation. If it is the same girl, then obviously Obviously it's weird if you're saying, hey bro, I'm here with your beautiful sister. We're gonna come and get you, you know, keep working hard. But there's also this video as well. What's up, my man? We're at the fuck club. Me and my girl, gotta head back to mine. So you know, whenever I say, if there's additional supporting evidence, then I'm gonna start to be a little skeptical. Over here, we could start to see that it could be that girl. His terminology at the same time is very strange. I mean, yo, I'm here with my girl. If this girl is indeed that same girl, then obviously he's in some big trouble here. But then there's this one picture, which in my opinion would be very difficult to Photoshop, considering the fact that there's glaring light up top and in the back the light is bleeding into her face the light is also bleeding into josh giddy's hair and again these are all allegations this is just my own analysis and then the most incriminating image is this image where she posts this picture and said just did the deed with josh giddy and if you're josh giddy man i mean let's just assume this is true how the hell are you so cool like just posing like that for a selfie in this incriminating situation i think that's what's throwing me off and making me believe that there's no freaking way this could be true. You know what I mean? Like this whole bit where I'm trying to play devil's advocate is just the situation is so bizarre because any man in that situation isn't proud of doing something that terrible. But you could understand why I'm having so much trouble believing that these allegations are so true because like he's so proud of the situation he's in. It doesn't even seem like he's trying to hide this terrible, disgusting thing he's doing. And the situation is just so bizarre and so nasty and just, ugh. So I'm trying my best not to jump to conclusions, but like all of the arguments that I'm trying to make for myself just aren't working. I just think this situation is bizarre. And if these allegations are true, then clearly this dude's a freak and needs to be punished for it. But you could understand why I think this is so weird. You know, like even in the case of EDP, whenever he was busted, he was trying to hide the disgusting thing he was trying to do. He wasn't posing for a selfie. You know what I mean? Now people are going crazy responding to this news. I mean, Isaiah Thomas tweeted out, I'd be hearing that 
OKC needs a new guard. Hashtag just saying. You gotta love how Isaiah Thomas will always shoot a shot with these NBA teams. Josh Giddy changed his profile picture to a black screen and turned the comments off on all of his images. And here's where things are really crazy, guys. I mean, there's a chance that this individual may have found the loophole because technically speaking, the age of consent in Oklahoma is 16 years of age. So a 16 year old can consent to a 21 year old in Oklahoma. I love how whenever you look it up on Google, immediately they know what you're trying to research because Josh Giddy is quite literally 21 years old. So they know what we're looking up. So this entire story is bizarre to me because now I'm starting to get convinced that this actually went down and it's legal. Now, again, this is my own speculation, but I'm starting to get more and more convinced that this actually went down, but it happened in a state where the age of consent is 16. With all that being said, technically speaking, this might be perfectly legal. And this would explain why he's so fine with posing behind that girl in the selfie. That would explain why he's so proud of calling her his girl. Again, these are all theories and speculation, but this entire storyline is absolutely crazy. Now, before you guys start to say that, oh my God, Josh Giddy is the sick individual that is taking advantage of Oklahoma's laws. If you look up where Josh Giddy is from, he's from Melbourne, Australia where the age of consent is 16 as well. So there's multiple ways to looking at this. Again, this is very highly speculative and just to let me know what you guys think about this story in the comment section down below. Aside from that, I wanna wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.